Hey guys, I got my hair professionally retwisted for the first time and here's how my experience went. It was always in the plan to go back after my first month, but I also wanted to get my hair styled because I'm in a wedding later on this week. And so I went yesterday and I think she did an amazing job. So let me fill you in on some of the details of everything that happened. So I get there and the first thing she does is wash my hair, of course. I'm pretty sure she used some sort of tea tree shampoo and conditioner because there was like that peppermint kind of smell and you know, there was a little tingle there and she asked when my first wash was and I actually had washed my hair two weeks prior to that and she was like okay that's perfectly fine so we go through and she is washing my hair making sure she concentrates on the scalp areas and so she does the shampoo and the condition and then i sat under the dryer for i'm actually not sure how long but i sat under the dryer for a little bit and was able to get my hair completely dried because she prefers to retwist when the hair is dry as opposed to wet so after I was sitting under the dryer for a little while, I sat down in her chair and that is when she started to do the actual retwist. And so she started off in the back, of course, and then was able to like section off my hair because at, at that point my roots were like so thick. I will show you guys a picture of what my hair looked like before. As you can see, my hair is extra thick and the roots were thick and it was really time for me to get another retwist in. So when she was doing my retwist, she started off in the back and she was able to like separate the sections a little bit, especially with the fine tooth comb, she was able to like kind of separate the roots into their own lock sections, something that I'm not able to do at home. So I'm really appreciative that I went to a professional to do this. Um, at times when she was tugging, it hurt a little bit, but I mean, when your hair is in the locking process, it can easily mat up at the roots, especially um, since you're not really doing much to your hair. And I had initially thought that she was going to retwist them and then I sit under the dryer and then she would go ahead and style it. But she ended up retwisting all of my locks and then she started immediately taking out the clips um, without going to back to the dryer and going ahead and putting it into my style. Now I showed her a few pictures beforehand of what I was looking for. Um, I'm going to be a bridesmaid in a wedding and so I wanted it to just be kind of just up out of the way and you know nothing that I really have to deal with too much on the day of getting ready for the wedding. I didn't want to stress about my hair at all especially since I'm kind of new to this lock thing so I opted for, you know, French rolls on both sides and I showed her a picture of something that I saved on Instagram actually. I thought it would be really cute pinned up and I'll be able to show you guys a 360 degree view of everything. But I think she did a very nice job, especially with laying down the edges and she even had my little sideburn here like curled yesterday. I kind of want to recreate that if I can, but I'm not sure. I've never been much for edge control products. Edge control didn't really seem to work when I was a loose natural, so I always used gel, but sometimes gel causes flakiness, and I was kind of reluctant to use gel when I'm forming my locks. So we'll see how I'll be able to lay my hair for the wedding. But yeah, this is my hair. This is everything that she did. My hair is extra clean. It's separated very nicely. I really want to keep this style in as long as possible. And um, when I first got it done, it was pretty tight. But if you're used to getting your hair done at like African hair braiding shops or getting box braids or cornrows at those kind of shops where they tend to braid on the tighter side, I think it'll be completely fine. I would love for this hairstyle to last at least a week or two more. I am actually going on a cruise vacation next week in which, you know, I'll be out in the sun, on the beach, in the pool. I don't plan on getting my hair wet that much. I am going to be snorkeling a bit, so my hair might get a little wet at that point. I don't know, I just want to keep it as clean as possible. So, yeah, there's that. 
But yeah, I think it's gonna be a great look for, you know, the gown that I'm wearing with some like statement earrings that I plan on getting for the wedding as well. And yeah, I think it'll turn out to be a really good look. And it's also just a good look just to have and it, it's out of the way. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about much frizz or anything like that right now. I'm hoping that it'll prevent any unraveling from happening. So if you guys know like the front of my hair, um, especially like the top areas and some of the back were unraveling very, very easily. So now that it's all tightly like retwisted and in this style, I'm hoping that the unraveling kind of like chills for a second and you know lets my hair lock and get used to like being in a twisted hairstyle but yeah it's time to show you guys my look from front to back so this is the front of my hair this is kind of where this twist starts right here so it comes more over here and then this one starts right here um i don't have any like middle parts so it wouldn't have gone like that um like evenly on both sides but yeah this is a look at the front and I'll bend my head down it's the top of my head this is the left side and then this is the right side back of my head looks top back side and then other side. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick recap of my salon experience with my loctician. Again, I will show you guys my loctician name at the bottom right here. She is amazing if you're in the St. Louis area and you are looking for a good loctician who will really take care of your hair or start your locks the right way. I suggest booking an appointment with her. She has all her info in her Instagram bio. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys like this video. Comment below with any thoughts you have. And make sure you subscribe to keep up with my lock journey. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.